Hello Capricorn, this is your Is It a Fling or the Real Thing reading. It's actually a deep dive to see what your person is thinking, feeling, intending, and what their actions will be at this time. I want to thank everyone, all the new visitors. Thanks for stopping by. Please be, feel free to leave comments, and I want to welcome back all the old subscribers, which I'm so grateful for. Thank you for joining me today. So we have Treasure Island. Ooh, so your person values you. We have Unfinished Symphony. <laughs> There's more to the story. I like it. <laughs> Let's see what else we have, Capricorn. A change is in the wind. Isn't that just the most beautiful card? A beautiful zebra with a beautiful bird cage. I, I want that for the backyard, but not a real zebra. I wouldn't want to do that to my zebra. So let's take a look and see. Now we're going to do four different um, columns here. The first one will be your person's thoughts, second intention, yet yeah, thoughts, feelings, intentions, and then finally actions. So let's see what we have here. So six of wands. They are thinking that they want a victory with you, Capricorn. Your person, that's Leo energy. They want to ride high with you. They want to introduce you to all their friends. They think that you could be the one. You could be the catch of a lifetime. So that is Leo energy. And we have another Leo energy card here, the strength card. The strength card is indicates that this person has a lot of perseverance. They're in it to win it. Their attraction to you is not going away. In fact, the it's the infinity symbol. The number eight is the infinity symbol. So your person is very smitten with you. They're very dedicated to you. They want to be by your side all the time. Um, so when they think about you, they think about, they fantasize about you a lot. In fact, they're a little bit obsessed with thinking about you. The Seven of Cups energy is all about fantasy, thinking about you kind of constantly. They also feel as though when they wonder if you're keeping your options open or how important they are in your life. So let's look at their heart space. So we have Seven of Cups energy is a Scorpio energy. The Queen of Cups, Cancerian Energy, they love you. That is a card of very simple, straightforward love. Cancer at its best, sweetest, kindest, most sensitive feeling in their heart space. <laughs> they feel very fired up and passionate. This is the Knight of Wands. It's Sagittarius energy. They're trying so hard to get your attention. They love you. They want you to focus on them. Your person, Capricorn, is jumping through hoops on a beautiful thoroughbred, you know, riding side saddle. So it really speaks to the fact that in their heart space, they want to be the center of your world. They want to be the center of your attention. They adore you. They, they absolutely adore you, Capricorn. We have in their heart space, they feel that you are the epitome and you embody everything that they find beautiful. They are smitten with you. They are charmed by you. They are very emotionally engaged with you passionately from the heart space and you know from this tremendous desire they have to attain your affection. Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. They see you as the epitome of perfection. A beautiful hat, a beautiful set of earrings, a beautiful dress, a beautiful bird. They are absolutely fascinated with you. What is their intention with you? Seven of Wands. Their, per, their intention with you is they see you as having a wall up or at least some limits to the relationship. Now, whether it's true or not, could be vice versa, but your person is really intent on opening you up. That's their intention. They want to they want to have sort of a jailbreak with you so that you give them more attention, more, you know, of everything. So what else do we have? Oh, temperance, patience. 
a card that really speaks very honestly and very earnestly for their desire to have a true connection with you. Your person wants to be balanced with you. They want to give equally, equal give and take. They're very calm. They really have thought about this. They've given a lot of consideration. They're very clear about what they intend with you and what they intend is a victory for both of you. Not for them. They really want the relationship to be this beautiful change that, that they're hoping will happen, that they're hoping they can create. Okay, so their intention is to make you their final love in terms of their life. They want to spend the rest of their life with you, the world card. You know, we always say that's closing out a cycle, but what does that really mean? What it really means is that they want to close out the cycle of being single. They want to choose you, and they want you to choose them, and they're going to do everything they can to have you see their value. So they are, they may show off a little bit, you know, but they're very driven, Capricorn. And you know, you're ruled by Saturn. You're very driven too. So I think you will have an appreciation for this person's energy. So let's see what we have in terms of their actions. Wheel of Fortune. They are waiting for timing to be on their side. They're waiting for the right moment to approach you very slowly, very carefully, with uh, great care and consideration. They have a plan. They definitely have a plan on how they how they would like to um, approach and interact with you. It's Virgo energy. It's meticulous. Virgo can see into the distance about what's going to happen in any situation. And so they do have the capacity to see that with you. And of course, again, waiting for the time to be right to make that approach. The Ten of Cups, they want, to, they, they want happily ever after with you. That is what their actions will speak of. They will, they will be acting from their heart space. This deep, intense love, this is Pisces energy. It's very, very, um, very dreamy energy, very soft, very kind, very loving. You have a grand shrine here in water sign energy. You have Seven of Cups, which is Scorpio. We have the Queen of Cups, which is Cancerian Grand Trine. And we have the Ten of Cups, which is Pisces Grand Trine. So when we look at that, it's it's pretty exquisite. There's a very strong Virgo uh, element to this reading also with the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm going to go ahead and, and clarify the cards and see what else we can find out. Let's see what else we have here, Capricorn. So let's see what the energy is. Why do we have the Six of Wands? Why does Capricorn's uh, love interest or person of interest want so badly to endure, to have a public relationship in essence? Ah, they feel as though you are dating other people and um, they want you to choose them. So that's why they really want to become a public entity. They want to be able to introduce you to their friends. They want you to choose them. So that's a motivator. When we look at the strength card here, we have Taurus energy. So this person does have a very grounded energy also. They have a plan. But when we see this person, um, we see all this passion, the loyalty, the investment. It's there. This is a forever type of person. This person does not have, they're not frivolous. They don't just go out looking for flings as a norm for them. They, this is a person who wants to be very grounded and, and in love and to be able to have that relationship with you. The Seven of Cups, they fantasize about being married, what a, what a wedding would look like. They fantasize about going on trips with you, taking flights with you, going on adventures, starry nights, tiki torches, the ocean, loving deeply, but that is what they are thinking. What is it in their heart space? Why is the Queen of Cups here for our beautiful caps? We have the Taurus. So now look at that Capricorn. We have Taurus energy. Your person really sees that, that there's a strong Venus element and that you attract to you what you want. And so they are hoping 
and in their heart space, they want you to be attracted to them for the quality of love that they can provide, for the beauty, the, the sweetness, the, the, the value that they bring to the table. You know, they definitely want to have this adventure, this love relationship with you that's very deep. So why is the Knight of Wands here? Why are they trying to get your attention? <laughs> you're playing it cool, that's why. They don't think you're giving them any attention or that you're being very cagey about it. And you know what? The Emperor card is, it always does remind me. I know it's an Aries, um, Aries energy, but when you look at that chess piece, I always say Capricorn knows how to play it cool. And so that's what they're doing. They're trying to get your attention because you are sort of playing it cool. Okay. So in their heart space, they feel this strong desire. You elicit in them um, a feeling that you have, you're a high value person. The Seven of Pentacles says that they definitely want to invest. That is Taurus energy too. So we have Taurus Virgo. So Capricorn, you haven't appeared in your reading yet. So interesting. So why do we have the Seven of Wands here? Why do we have the Seven of Wands? Why is the Seven of Wands here? In their intention oh the king of wands is gonna blaze trails this is the Leo energy this person goes with after what they want once they decide what they want your person Capricorn is going to be a tough one to hold back they have a lot of pride they're willing to do the work but we have now we have Aries Leo and um, Sagittarius so again, now we have a grand fire trine in this reading. Very interesting. Trines are always easy flowing energy. So this person is very comfortable in their own skin. Um, very nice. Okay, so why do we have the temperance card here? Why are they so calm, cool, and collected? Ah, they believe that balance is a key that they really, this is a justice card, and the justice card, when we're looking at romance, often represents a desire to marry, but more so, and more importantly, is that they have the desire to have a very good relationship, one in which there is a ton of balance, that it is uh, a relationship that comes to fruition, that it manifests in a long-term investment, uh, Libra energy is all about, you know, marriage licenses and doing things the right way. So I like that with temperance. The two energies are very compatible. Why is the world card here for our Capricorn friends and your person's intentions? The, okay, so here we have two cards that stuck together. Your person is trying to, um, their intention is to have you choose them. We see you juggling two over here. And we see your person wanting you to end that relationship, that's their intention, is to have you to show you their value enough so that you choose them and you stop dating other people. Um, so, and they want a rebirth in the relationship if there's been some sort of discord or disagreement. Why is the Sagittarius Wheel of Fortune here? Ace of Swords, the truth be told, your person is very strategic. Their actions will be very thought out, very well planned. This person is not going to be swayed to give you up. We also get that their actions are to absolutely do whatever they think is necessary to win your heart, to win your respect, to win your you know, your friendship, your desire, this person is going to pull out all the stops. So that world card says that they think the world of you, they want the same respect for you, and this is a person with a very strategic plan, cool, calm, collected Aquarius energy. So the Ace of Swords also, if there was an argument or disagreement, is making amends and coming together. Look at this, the Hermit energy. Your person doesn't intend to be they fully intend to um, search for the answer on how to get a strategy that will make you really recognize how much they love you and hopefully that you will fall in love with them. This person has been left out in the cold or they feel that they're not getting from you what they would like to have. So this person is going to very much escalate their energy towards you. 
So definitely a very serious endeavor for them. So for them, it's really the real thing. I guess the question is, is it, what is it for you, Capricorn? So let's see what the messages of love says for you about this relationship. Finances, financial challenges are affecting the connection. Well, we've just come out of a pandemic, so, you know, I think it's affecting a lot of people. It says, unavailable, this person is unable to give you all you deserve. Capricorn, interesting energy. So, well, you know, we have to, you have to judge this strategically as you are. Integrity. Does this situation align with your values or morals? Okay, so for some of you, what I'm seeing is that some of you Capricorns may be married and you may have someone who's trying to bring you into a third party situation. I really don't see that as a main storyline at all. I do not, but I feel as though if you had any kind of past relationship with this person, you know, the fact that uh, they may be willing to bend the rules to be with you is uh, something of major consequence. Let's see what well, um, Island Time Wellness says. The runner, codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to the ego. Well, we saw a lot of Leo energy, which is quote unquote the Leo, Leo card. So you'll have to decide whether this person is really going to be up to your standards. You know, what you want with them will ultimately come down to being your choice. The relationship is evolving in the next phase, healing the inner child, growth, the butterfly. So there is transformation. So whatever has happened in the past, you might put those considerations aside. Uh, this is quite a lovely reading. It's quite a lovely energy. And uh, the sword in the rose says clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, protection, and power. So it does say that even though there is um, there's some there's this runner dynamic, and it looks like maybe your person is um, has been unavailable in the past, or maybe you're unavailable. It does show that there is a hope for the relationship, certainly, to be whatever you would like for it to be, Capricorn. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Sending you love from Chicago. Hope to see you again in another video soon.